Our Weekend Watch shines a spotlight on government activity, and the proposed Chicago casino is taking a step forward. Bally's Corporation filed its application with the Illinois Gaming Board for a $1.7 billion casino resort along the Chicago River, and a temporary casino site could open by next summer. Casey Toner from the Better Government Association is here to talk more about what to expect next in this process. And good morning to you, Casey. Good morning. Thanks for having me on. Great to have you again. So tell us what details do we know from the latest filing here? Well, last week they put in their application to open up this mega resort casino in the River West neighborhood. And this is just another step in the decades in the making plan to bring uh, a casino to the city of Chicago. And, you know, while this is just another step, you know, there's still plenty of pitfalls uh, along the way. Yeah, how important is it to get this casino up and running by 2026? The casino is very, very important, both the Bally's and the city of Chicago. When this is up and running, the city of Chicago expects to collect more than $200 million annually for its fire and pension funds, which are severely underfunded. And the city of Chicago really needs this money. And Bally's, um, you know, from their perspective, as part of this process, they already um, you know, signed a check to the city of Chicago for $40 million. So they have a lot riding on the line as well. Right. And the details here uh, about the temporary casino, I know it was talked about in, in River North. Yes, the plan right now is they would like to build a temporary casino at the Medina Temple in River North. Um, and the goal is to open this up uh, by next summer. Um, but as we've seen out in Rockford, um, you know, the city of Rockford also wanted to build a temporary casino, and it took them two years to get it up and running mm. after they submitted their application to Illinois Gaming Board. So next summer might be a bit ambitious, but we'll see. Yeah, I've got a lot of questions over kind of how that would work in River North, especially if people are going to go there to gamble and how many people maybe from out of side of the city of Chicago and traffic and everything else. So have people in River North, how are they feeling? Have they warmed up to this idea? Um, they have they fought the idea initially, and uh, you know after they they lost there, they uh, are still trying to lobby right now to make some changes. There's a group called the River North Residents Association, uh, and they have real concerns about um, you know an entertainment center that's set for the outside. They want that scrapped and replaced with a park, uh, and they also want this extended security perimeter because mm -hmm. again, there's going to be a lot of people coming from outside of the city of Chicago with uh, many different states in mind, and the residents of River North want to feel uh, safe and protected. Okay, Casey Toner with the Better Government Association. We really appreciate it this morning. Thank you. Thank you. All right, and we continue to follow updates as plans for the Chicago Casino move forward. You can also find our recent reporting on this right on our website, abc7chicago.com. And at 856, we've got more news coming up after the break. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.